Welcome back. Now on to our monthly pulse check of the state of M&As in the country, what Deal Street has been up to. And while deal volumes have been higher than last year, the size of deals have been considerably lower, so lesser money exchanging hands essentially this August. Raja Lairi of Grand Thornton, India now joins us with the findings of the Deal Tracker report. Uh, Raja, overall that might have been the case, but if you look at it, some key deals were there in August, starting off with the big one, Bain Capital acquiring 30% stake in Genpact. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think August 2012, I, if I may say, it's really the deal, uh, the month where the maximum P deals happened. And if I may say, private equity really has come back with a vengeance, maybe. Uh, there are three large deals. I think the one is, as you said, is uh, Bain Capital 30% stake in Genpact. A billion dollar transaction that is a significant boost to the private equity and the secondary market. It gives exit to Oak Hill Partners. So that's a fantastic deal in the outsourcing space. Uh, we saw also Flipkart raising $150 million from Naspers, uh, South Africa. Uh, so again, a pretty good, significant size deal in the e-commerce space. Uh, you know, so overall, I think private equity uh, saw 1.8 billion value of transactions in the month of August, which which is the highest in 2012. So I think private equity was a fantastic month. Uh, if you look at m and I think m and saw uh, close to a billion dollar of transactions. But as I said previously, I think clearly uh, is being driven by domestic transactions. Uh, we saw um, Lodha actually buying out DLF land in Bombay for uh, 490 million uh, value as well as hospital actually taking stake in Orchid for 200 million dollars. So I think that's the kind of shape of things to come and uh, you know private equity is, is, is looking good. Okay, clearly. So, P is stealing the show in August. Uh, but Raja, we were speaking just a couple of months back and you said sentiment, uh, investor sentiment was low. But do you think uh, a bit of a recovery has happened on that front or not? I think sentiment will take some time. Uh, however, as we've all seen, there is some positivity coming from the regulatory side in terms of feelers from the government. Uh, in my personal view, uh, I think uh, these are nimble, good steps. And if it continues, I think we could clearly see uh, clearly uptick in the deal momentum. And I feel uh, there are some, uh, you know, good, interesting large inbound transactions uh, that could potentially happen and uh, you know some of these positive sentiments on the regulatory front uh, could definitely uh, help the deal momentum uh, as far as sentiment goes. Raj, I will leave you at that. Thanks so much. So that was of course August for Deal Street. Well on that note uh, we're going to wrap up reporters diary but stay tuned. Markets.